Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan. The company I'll be working with today is Eunice Hair from the BU series. They sent me over a 26 inch transparent lace body wave lace front wig. Inside your packaging, you will receive your wig and you will also receive some extra goodies as a gift to yourself. This is a 13 by 4 transparent lace front wig. It comes with three combs in the inside and also an adjustable strap in the back. Um, once again, this is transparent lace. Um, this wig fresh out the box, it was giving me some shedding and some tangling. But after I went ahead and um, colored this hair, washed it and conditioned it, I had no more problems with the tangling and shedding. So now we're about to color this wig from black to blonde. For my first process, I'll be using BW2 powder and 40 volume developer. In the front, I want the blonde to go up higher. So I did separate those two pieces in the front because I want those, for one, I want them to be um, the lightest. And two, I want it to go a little bit higher than the rest of the hair. After I applied the bleach on those two sections and I put the foil on them, I'm just gonna start um, applying the bleach to the back. It's kind of like an ombre type of thing going on, but you will actually see what I'm actually doing. So yeah. Make sure when you are applying your bleach that you are making sure that you touch every strand, even if you have to brush the hair through, make sure you do that. You want to make sure you have a very even coverage. You do not want to miss any spots because that is so hideous. So make sure you're thoroughly saturating every strand that you want to be bleached.
So I let this process for 30 minutes and then I rinsed it out with just regular shampoo. And this is the color after I blow dried it. As you can see, it's very brassy and it's very honey brownish. And I want it blonde. So we went ahead and bleached it again. But this time I wanted something stronger. So I used my Blind Me Bleach with my 40 volume developer. And baby, it took it there. It got us this nice, like, dirty blonde color. And I just toned it with purple shampoo and I love it. When you're trying to take hair from black to blonde, you wanna make sure you try to use like a professional bleach because BW2 isn't as strong and it dries the hair out, but that blonde me is perfect. So now me, my client, friend, model, whatever, Naisha, we're taking our Ruby Kisses Double 14 and we're applying that all over the lace of the wig. I've already applied her ball cap and applied that same makeup to her cap. And now it's time to position the wig on the client's head. Make sure that the hairline of the wig is in front of the edge line of the cap. To secure her wig today, we're going to be using the adjustable straps and the comb in the back. And now we're going to go ahead and proceed and cut out her ear tabs before we start to glue this wig down. Off camera, I went ahead and cleaned and protected her skin using 91% alcohol and the Boho Skin Protect. The adhesive of choice today is, of course, Boho Active. I'm going to dot it along the edge of the cap, making sure I do get some glue on the skin. Do not just apply the glue to the edge of the cap and not put none on the skin. Your wig will not last. It will very much so lift. You have to apply the glue on the skin as well. After I apply my first layer, I wait for it to turn clear, and then I go in and add however many layers I want to do. I think today we did four. Our last layer is clear. Now it's time to lay that lace down. Do not waste any time. Once that glue is fully clear, go ahead and lay your lace down. I'm also using the um, teeth of the comb to help push the lace into the skin. Try not to use your fingers to push the lace in as much as possible because your skin has oils in it and oils and glue do not mix. Oils help the lace lift and we're trying to make sure the lace is adhered. Oh, 
After that lace, um, after you blow dry that lace for about a good minute with either using cool, warm, or hot heat, whatever um, you prefer, you're gonna go ahead and tie that lace down. This is just gonna make sure that that wig is fully secured to the client's skin. I'm just saying though, like, can we get a thumbs up for this color, y'all? This is very much giving me Los Angeles, Beverly Hills, babe. Um, broke, hold on, touch me vibes. Like, yes, I love it. Like, would you even think that this was a black wig originally? And that wig was black, honey. Okay. Now that lace has been sitting for about 10 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and take that elastic band off and we're gonna cut the excess lace using our eyebrow razor. And yes, y'all, that elastic band does be tight, but honey, you gotta do what you gotta do to get the results that you want. Now, with using transparent lace on um, brown skin, you will have a um, lace line demarcation. It will be too light. So, you're going to go back in and you're going to add your makeup. You can either add your makeup that you use to put um, on the underside of the wig. Or if you use lace tint, you can spray it directly on the lace line. And then you just tie it down. Um, I personally love transparent and HG lace because I just feel like I can match it to any skin tone. Um, the medium brown lace, um, medium brown lace definitely works for us brown and dark skinned people, but I don't know. The medium brown lace tends to have a lot of weird undertones, so no matter if you use makeup or lace tint, it seems to be weird to me, so it is a personal preference. Y'all know, my clients know, if it's not HD or transparent lace, then, um, yeah, I just can't. I can, but I can't work with it, so. Enough of me rambling. <laughs> We're gonna do a bust down part down the middle today and we're gonna do like some beach waves, curls, whatever. You just some soft, messy hair, you know, nothing too serious. To further get rid of that line of demarcation, I'm taking my favorite hairspray and we're just going to spray that lace line directly and then we're going to tie it down with our elastic band. As you can see, it's already starting to look better. Um, some hairsprays you can use, um, you can use Sebastian Shaper Plus, you can use the Got To Be Glue Free Spray, you can use my favorite one that um, you can get locally is the Tresemme 
um, hairspray. I love that. That really melts the lace in. Of course, you know, I use my own hairspray. But um, just use your favorite hairspray to melt that lace in, y'all. It's really about technique, not more so about product. I just, I just had to take another moment to just get into this color. Like, oh my gosh, y'all, this color. Like, I just, I don't know. I'm just speechless. Like, I just, I just, if I wasn't a hairstylist, I wouldn't think that that wig was black originally. I just wouldn't. I don't know. Like, that, that color is lit. Of course, y'all know when I'm doing any type of waves or curls, I gotta put layers in the hair. Even my clients know this. If you're getting curls, baby, I'm finna cut your hair. Because the layers, having a cut, this is what hair school taught me. Having a cut just gives the hair, it gives the hair everything it needs. Like hair is so flat and limp without a cut. It doesn't even have to be layers. Like you need some type of cut to just bring everything together. Like even with straight hair, I don't necessarily go in with layers, but I always trim the ends blunt because one it makes it look thicker and it just make everything just flow and like with curls i prefer to do layers because it just gives a more voluminous look and you know everything is just so flowy i just love cutting the hair you know y'all may say i'm scissor happy or whatnot but you know the style be cute in the end and the client be satisfied so you know mind your business <laughs> i'm just flaring y'all i miss y'all y'all miss me Cause I miss y'all. I, I know I know I moved to Atlanta and started neglecting y'all. It's okay, y'all can get on me. I'm finna get back on track. Just you know, just bear with me. Hold on. I thought somebody said they found my lace. Um, not really, not really, not really. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, we just added some concealer and um, I brown sprayed the part just to make the part more defined. And now we're going in to add in our Sebastian Shaper Plus hairspray. And we're just about to get ready to curl the hair. To do the little beach wave messy look, just curl the hair, but leave the ends out. Don't curl all the way to the ends. And um, y'all see me curl many times on YouTube, so I'm just gonna do one curl on camera, and then y'all gonna see the finishing results. And this is a T3 1 and 1 fourth inch single pass curl curling iron. You can get it from t3micro.com or if you have a nearby also, you can go ahead and get it in person. And these are the curls that I finished doing them. And y'all look who came to stop by and see me. Her pregnancy is going well. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys love this rich babe, boss babe look. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love y'all.